Welcome to today's video, where we'll guide you on how to optimize your private settings in Google Ad Manager. In this video, we'll explore the seven essential steps to maximize your ad revenue. Let's begin. The first step is determining the right price granularity. This defines the increments of bid values. While fine granularity captures more price points, it may lead to many line items in GAM, affecting ad decision latency. Medium or low granularity is less precise, but can be easier to manage within GAM. Bidders may be willing to pay more for certain impressions, but if your price buckets are too wide, you might be leaving money on the table by not accurately reflecting the value of those impressions. Striking a balance between granularity and efficiency is crucial for pre-bid optimization. Moving on to step two, let's talk about optimal timeouts. Timeout settings determine how long pre-bid waits for bidders before sending the winning bid to GAM. Timeouts are usually set between 400 and 3000 milliseconds, depending on the website speed, ad unit layouts, visitor behavior, and other key attributes. Short timeouts improve user experience, but can miss higher bids. Long timeouts, on the other hand, may bring more bids, but delay ad loading. Now moving on to step three, Let's cover line item management. You should prioritize line items by using GAM's price priority settings. To optimize campaign performance and ensure effective competition with pre-bid, it's advised to allocate direct campaigns to price priority line items. This strategic placement enhances the overall effectiveness of all campaigns. Also, make sure that key values used in pre-bid match the targeting criteria in GAM line items. As for the step four, the floor pricing strategy is one of the most crucial things in monetization. Implement dynamic floor prices based on past bid data. Adjust floor prices to match observed patterns for different ad units, times of day, or user segments. Regularly testing different floor price strategies is a recommended practice, especially as seasonality, advertiser, and user behavior changes. For example, if bids for a prime ad unit are consistently above $2, set the floor slightly below it, like $1.80. Shifting our focus to demand partners. To succeed with this tip, regularly assess CPM, fill rate, and latency. Remove or deprioritize underperforming partners to maintain optimal ad loading speed. While adding more bidders can boost competition, it can also increase latency. Find an optimal number that provides competitive bids without sacrificing speed. This step is about unified pricing rules. Unified pricing rules, or UPR, is a feature of Google Ad Manager that simplifies pricing rules for programmatic advertising and demand partners. Ensure they don't unintentionally suppress pre-bids potential. Experiment with settings using Google Ad Manager experiments for the best performance. We recommend using the Google Ad Manager Experiments section to test different floor price strategies to find the best fit. These should be done on a regular basis as seasonality, advertiser, and user behavior changes. The final tip we have for you today is to stay updated. AdTech evolves at an incredible pace. Stay informed about the latest pre-bit JS versions, new features, adapters, or optimization techniques. That concludes our guide on optimizing pre-bid settings in GAM. Setapad is a trusted monetization partner that can assist with all of the above optimizations. Our skilled ad ops specialists are Google certified and equipped with all the necessary industry knowledge. Don't forget to stay tuned for more tips and updates. Happy optimizing!